You're coming down. This is Juan Brown. I'm an A&P mechanic and a part owner in this old 1952 Bonanza and want to give you a quick uh, rundown on how to do a gear check, swing the gear on an early model Bonanza. This should only be done by a certified mechanic. This is not something to do at home on your own. And everything we're going to talk about today is covered in much greater detail in your Bonanza maintenance manual. The first thing you need to do is find a proper pair of jacks that f correctly fit the Bonanza. The second thing is you got to get the jacks in the correct position here so that when the gear doors open, they don't hit the jacks here. So you're going to want to bring the gear down a little bit at a time and have your uh, assistant ensure that the gear doors are not hitting the jack. You also need to ensure you've got good clearance under the tires so as you retract the gear the edge of the tire doesn't catch the the ground and try to push the plane off the jacks. The next item you need is a proper jack stand that can handle both a tail heavy condition or a nose heavy condition where that wants to pull the uh, tail up. You, you want to ensure that your tail stand has plenty of uh, ballast to prevent any nose heavy conditions from tipping the plane on the jacks. Anytime you're working on a plane on jacks you want to be very careful when getting or getting up and down off of the airplane. Underneath the front seats of the early model Bonanza is your gear retract mechanism. Here is the gear retract motor. Here's the uh, gear retract mechanism, a gear housing. And here's the push rod for the right main landing gear. And here's the push rod for the left main landing gear. And this is the motor for the electric flaps. Also associated with the gear is the mechanism to operate the landing gear doors. It's a well thought out, well designed system. So the first step you want to do is locate your landing gear circuit breaker and pull that circuit breaker in the open position. Next, turn on the master and the battery, or the battery in the master. Flip the gear into the up position. Of course, there's no gear coming up right now because we've got the circuit breaker pulled. And then after you've ensured the area is clear, begin to retract the circuit breaker by intermittently pushing in the circuit breaker. Wheel clear down there, Bill. The gear doors are clear. Looks good. You can see the mechanism begin to retract the gear. And then we'll continue to retract the gear to the fully retracted position. Now, with the circuit breaker pushed in, you should get your red light indication for the gear up. Circuit breaker out, light goes out. You also want to check your gear warning horn for proper uh, <laughs> actuation and irritating noise level when you do this test. Now, with the plane up on jacks, you can note the um, retracted gear position. And like the manual says, you want to make sure the doors are fully closed without deflecting and without any looseness that would cause vibration in the doors and excessive wear and tear. The nose gear doors are always a little challenging to get perfectly closed. But and here's the left main gear doors, nice and tight. Okay, all clear. Clear down below there, Bill. Yep, you're good. You're coming down.
gear down with a green light. Now with the gear in the extended position, again, check the doors. They're nice, and, the inboard gear doors are nice and tight. There's numerous lubrication points on the inside of the gear. Uh, you want to follow the procedures in the manual. And there's also a procedure for checking the over center um, locking mechanism here. It takes approximately 50 pounds of force measured in that direction minimum to uh, prevent this gear from folding up. And that works against the springs on the push rods that raise and lower the gear. A common pre-flight item on the Bonanzas is to make sure this uplock roller rolls easily so that the gear will come down. Also located on the right main landing gear is a uh, squawk, squat switch which tells the aircraft uh, that the weight is on the wheels, the gear is on the ground, and theoretically you cannot retract the gear when it's on the ground. I would never rely on the squat switch uh, to do that. Occasionally you can take off in these old bonanzas and go to retract the gear and the gear does not come up. So it's generally the problem is uh, the squat switch. Just leave the gear down and uh, come on back and land. Behind the front seats is located your emergency landing gear extension. It's just a handle that connects directly to the, to the gear housing to manually extend the gear. The other part of a good gear uh, retraction test is to manually extend the gear and make sure everything works.